YouTubers of the world. I am Arcane and Fantasy, and today, <laughs> well, right now, I really just want to wish you all a happy Halloween. It's really hard to believe that it's already been about a year since I started up this whole channel. <laughs> Where has the time gone? <sighs> but. But uh, enough of my rambling. You're not here to listen to that. You're here to hear my review on a beloved's curse. A eerie yet extremely well written story created by none other than the lost narrator herself. And now I honestly don't know how quite to really start off this review because <laughs> it isn't written like a lot of the other fan fictions I've read so far. See, this fanfic is written entirely from a character's narrative perspective. To give you an idea of what this means, it means it's written from the perspective of a storyteller within the story. Which is completely different from a third person narrative or a main character narrative. Which gives the story a completely different feel to it than most other fan fictions I've reviewed. Hell, most stories I've actually read. This actually seems like the kind of story one would tell to a bunch of people at a campfire. Maybe even over some toasted marshmallows. And it's because of that that I find this fic to be a fantastic breath of fresh air. It doesn't feature any characters from the MLP universe, and it's so... raw. To put bluntly, this story is told from the perspective of the Lost Narrator's now fiancé, Magpie, who is honestly I have no idea where she is in the story. I mean, hell, she doesn't even understand where she is in the story. Although, just for the sake of argument, let's go with what she calls it. Purgatory. Apparently, she's telling the story of how, or rather what, led to her ending up getting cursed in the previous story. The story of the lost narrator and ultimately what led to her being banished to this place, as well as the terrifying Lovecraftian bargain she made to be able to possibly get back to Lost, or Curse Woman, as she's called in the story. All in all, this review is rather difficult to perform because I'm not entirely sure how to critique this. And as a one-shot, that, yet at the same time, isn't a one-shot. It's very difficult for me to even adequately describe how well this story is put together. Both Magpie and Lost are, as far as I can tell, really in character. <laughs> Including Lost or curse words, colorful language. Including what I consider to be one of the funniest things when she essentially told a carriage driver what to do with his carriage and where to stick it. <laughs> uh, road rage. The greatest gift to comedy since the who's on first joke. <laughs> and politics, but again, enough of my rambling. I suppose I should go over my major issues with this fic, but Oddly enough, I don't have any. This story is beautifully written and perfect. Spelling, a solid 10. Grammar, solid 10. Of off error, zero, solid 10. Name overload, a solid 10. All in all, I give this fanfic, well, oh. I would normally give something like this a solid 10 if it's all 10s across the board, but no. This fanfic has earned one of my 
most sought after Platinum Elevens. A well written and incredibly personal story that I have yet to read in a very, very long time. And with that, you all know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, and if you're feeling particularly generous, stop by my Patreon account and leave a small donation. After all, every little bit helps. Also, if Lost or Magpie are watching right now, I want to tell you guys, congratulations, what took you guys so fucking long to get to this point, and good luck. And with all that, <laughs> see you all in the next review, everypony. Bye. Rising again, cause this is not man night. You living in the past, so you won't last without the proper care.